Well, hello and welcome back to Supposedly Fun. My name is Greg, here to do um, kind of a reading check-in at TBR for the end of the month. I finally started feeling like I was gonna, ready to get back into reading yesterday after the surgery. And again, thank you so much for all of your really kind comments. I'm totally behind on responding to them, but it really has meant a lot to me. Um, I didn't expect recovery from the umbilical hernia repair to take so long, um, but it kind of has. I'm, I'm still wearing a girdle. I tried going without it yesterday, and uh, by the end of the day I was in pain, so I'm gonna try to wear it. A little bit more of the day today uh, and we, we might be off but anyway we were in Helena over the weekend visiting my, my husband's birthday was earlier in the week so we had a nice dinner for that we were visiting my in-laws and I got to go to the Montana Book Co where I got this lovely t-shirt really great store if you're ever in Hel Helena I, I, I recommend that they have a great selection very well curated uh, great help as well uh, it's a very inclusive store great vibe I, I definitely recommend that um, but since I'm just starting to get back into reading, I wanted to kind of check in with my TBR and the things that I want to get done by the end of the month. So the first thing for that is that unfortunately I am going to put off such a long journey by Rahint and Mystery. This was originally going to be a buddy read with Sean the Book Maniac and Natali. They have posted their first check-in video about it. I was thinking I might try to follow along um, with their videos, but I think uh, given the gap in reading that I've had and what I need to catch up on, I'm gonna have to table it for now, but check out their videos about it. It has been good following along with them and I look forward to seeing the rest of their videos about it and uh, catching up with this book myself, hopefully later in the year. Uh, and I really enjoyed um, A Fine Balance. Uh, watching their videos helped, because I had after the surgery, I had no memory of the part of this book that I had read. Their videos did prompt some memories of it, but I'm fuzzy enough on it that I feel like I need to start at the beginning. Uh, but I loved A Fine Balance, which was by Rahint and Mystery, so I definitely want to read something of his again. So I'm going to table that for now. So the funny thing is, a lot of what I'm going to be reading in the end of February and heading into March is for the Booktube Prize, and because of that, I can't really tell you what I think of it. But I have started two books. Uh, the first one I've been listening to, The Far Field by Maduri Vijay on audio. I am roughly halfway through this one, and uh, I, I got to that point uh, when I had surgery, during the recovery over the weekend, uh, I was trying to listen a little bit further and I was having a very hard time paying attention. And I did not think that was fair to the book. So I tabled it and now that I'm a little bit over a week out and I feel like I'm ready to dive back into reading, I'm going to head back into it. Now again, because this is for the book two prize, can't tell you what I think of it so far, but I am going to get back into this. And once I finish the audio of The Far Field, uh, by the way, I happen to have a copy of the uh, physical book as well. Once I finish the audio, I should be getting an audio copy of A Woman Is No Man by A Tough Rum from the Libby app. So once I finish this, I should be able to transition seamlessly into that, but we'll see how that goes. And then I will have two books down for the book to prize. I had also gotten Inland by Taya Obrett from the library. Uh, I have started this, I started it yesterday. I'm roughly just under 40 pages in. And again, because it's for the book two prize, I can't tell you what I think of it, but I am 40 pages in. And uh, once I finish this one, I have a copy of Frankenstein by Jeanette Winterson ready to go on ebook from the Scribd app. So that should be uh, ready to go once that is done. I am uh, waiting for Spring by Ali Smith and Where Reasons End by Yi Yun Li from the library. I actually did get a copy of Spring from the library, but that was during my recovery period and I didn't make it to the library in time, so I lost my hold and there was another person there. So hopefully that is going to come back quickly because I don't want to have to buy that book. <laughs> um, but I also, I, but I need to get to it. So those are the other two books that I'm looking at. Uh, they should be coming up quickly from the library. Uh, and in the meantime, I have Frankenstein by Jeanette Winterson once I'm done with Inland. So that should cover the book two prize. Now I'm definitely hoping that by the end of February, I don't have to have the book two prize books done until the end of March. I wanted to have them all done in February, but you know, <laughs> this happened. Um, so by the end of February, I definitely want to be done with the far field inland and Frankenstein for sure. Cause that, that, that would be good placement because then I'm halfway through and only have three more to do in the month of March. Um, I would also really like to do the audio of Sula this month by Toni Morrison. I have a hold on it on Libby and it says it will be available in two weeks. I'm really hoping it doesn't take two weeks. Um, 
I would love to get it in. There's an, a reading group that is going through every Toni Morrison book in, uh, this year, uh, one per month in the order in which she published them, and Sula is the one for this month, and I would love to get that in if I can, especially since I feel like for Black History Month, that I would love to squeeze in another Toni Morrison book. So we'll see how that goes. That would be on top of my Book 2 Prize reading. Um, but it's in, since none of the authors that I'm reading for the Book 2 Prize really qualify for Black History Month in, in the United States, I, I, I would like to honor the month somehow. So I feel like, and plus I'm just really loving reading Toni Morrison books right now. So if I can do it, that would be great. Um, but I don't want, I, I'm, I'm all about achievable goals. <laughs> so I think the way I'm reca recalibrating or recasting, I am looking at hopefully having Inland, The Far Field, and Frankenstein finished in February. So I can transition into March where I will work on uh, Where Reasons End, Spring, and A Woman Is No Man. Also in March, I have Buddy Reads coming up. I am looking at Disappearing Earth with Julia Glass. That will be toward the end of the month. Um, I have to check in with Rick at another kick at the Canlet because we agreed to do a Buddy Read of Lonesome Dove for March of the Mammoths, uh, which is for books that are over 700 pages. Lonesome Dove is uh, roughly 857 pages, so it definitely qualifies for that. Now this is part of, um, this is a Pulitzer Prize winner, so it is part of my Pulitzer Prize project. And I'm really looking forward to that. Now, I had originally wanted to have a clean slate for March, so I would have plenty of time to do this and Disappearing Earth. Um, it's not quite shaping out that way, but, you know, it is what it is, uh, and it should be fine. I try to leave flexibility in my reading plans for just this very reason. And um, the other thing, so this his family. I've mentioned this a lot because it is the first Pulitzer Prize book, and I want it to be the first book that I discuss as part of my Pulitzer Prize project, so I want to try to squeeze this in before Lonesome Dove. Um, and that should be doable. Uh, I also just noticed that there is an audiobook of his family available on Scribd, so because the, this book is old enough that there is no copyright on it, so uh, I, I may even just try to do it that way, but it's only about 230 pages so hopefully that's doable if I have one like really good reading weekend I should be able to get this in as well so that is everything I'm reading and not reading <laughs> in February looking into the month of March uh, it feels good to be getting back into the reading world and uh, reading in general it's it's weird when you just go through a patch where you're not doing it I just didn't think it was fair to try to like force myself to read any of these books uh, when I wasn't ready. So that's my plan. Again, I, I try to keep things flexible so when things happen, like hernia surgery, <laughs> you can adapt. Um, and I, so I think everything will be fine. Uh, I should, everything is doable right now and I should be able to get back on track. And I'm looking forward to reading all of these and uh, finally talking about the Book to Prize books when I can. I would love to know what you've been up to in the reading world or otherwise. And and uh, as always, I appreciate your time. And I re again, I really appreciate all the, the really lovely comments that everybody has left. I will try to catch up on those comments and, uh, and post videos more regularly now that I'm starting to feel like a human being again. Not 100% there, but getting there. So again, thank you. And I will be back. Until next time, happy reading.